Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Lincoln and today I'm going to unbox this. This is Anycubic's Wash and Cure Plus Station. We're going to get this open and take a look at it. I wanted to get the bigger size because I have the Mono X 6K. So it's a bigger medium format printer. So I want to have something big enough to wash and cure those larger prints. All right, let's get this bot unboxed and take a look at it. Okay, so for the curing portion, you need to peel off this. It has a blue side and a dark side. And I don't know if they both have, no, it's just this side, they're super shiny. Peel off this kind of pink looking layer, maybe. This comes off. And I just lay this in the indent for the bottom cure. And then this just has little notches and notches right into, you'll see the little indentations right there notches right in. Ooh, I got a lot of static electricity apparently. Just wanting to stick to the plate so that would be a little bit of an issue. So I'm going to show you something that will should take care of this. If we just put a couple drops of alcohol on the back side of this. When this evaporates it takes the static with it. Plus it's wet, so it's just gonna stick to the surface. So that should help, because you're not gonna be running this for very long anyway, so that's one way of fixing this if you have an issue with that plastic trying to come up and stick to the bottom of your plate. So that'll work there. And then that would be the cure set. All right, and for the washing side, this has been pretty interesting too. I did not realize this would do this. So obviously it has the paddle in, in the bottom for you know mixing the resin or the solvent rather now the basket's pretty cool i didn't realize that's the way this was going to work i mean i've kind of looked at some of these videos but i didn't really pay too much attention so your build plate will sit on this in this for a shorter something that's a little bit shorter so this would just go in the basket just like this and then this lip right here gets this one. So if you're doing something really tall, you put this in the top right here at the lip. And then you put your build plate right there. And then you can wash something this tall. So that's pretty cool. I did not realize that's how that worked. And I also didn't realize how big this is going to be. I'm going to have to go get some more alcohol to fill this thing up. I don't have enough. There's no way. So I'm going to put this on and... We'll do a little movie magic and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I got some more. I had one and I've got six more to go. So let's fill this thing up. Okay, so you can see I only went up to the uh, 7,000 milliliter. That'll be enough for what I'm going to be printing. So I'm going to throw the lid on this and kind of see how it works. Okay, so the machine setup is really simple. You just have the power cord coming in, your on off switch, just turn it on. And we'll turn the machine around. All right, from there, it's really simple. Your wash and cure button right here. You can adjust your time for each one and they're separately set. 
grab your bucket and put it on and you really feel it snap in place because underneath this plate on the machine are neomedium magnets they look like they're about that big around so it's pretty strong and you'll feel it when you go to pull it up too you can feel it release all right so to get it going we'll just go over to the wash we'll leave it there and the lowest you can do is two minutes and then push on the button it'll start up and if for some reason you want to stop it you can just stop it again start it so it'll run for two minutes and it'll cycle pretty fast it looks really good it's has a really nice wash cycle it takes a second for it to spin up because it slowly spools up and at the end it does the same thing the last 18 or 20 seconds it'll spool back down but you can hear this thing wind up and see how much this is moving and then at the last 20 seconds it has a nice little slow down cycle so it'll start to slow down and it gives you a nice beep at the very end letting you know your cycle is completely finished And that's it for this wash cycle. And then all we're gonna have to do a cure cycle next. With the Wash and Cure Plus, this one you do have the option of using the basket to wash, or you can put it on the inside here with the plate. I'm gonna leave it on the plate because it's pretty small. It's just a mini. So we'll take this out. I don't need the top rack. So I'm gonna put it down in the lower rack right here because it's a little bit of And it looks like it printed fine. That looks good. So we'll see how it works. So this can go down and it goes directly on that rack. And I don't know how well you can see that, but it sits inside the rack right here. You can see a little bit in there. All right, we'll turn it on and wash it for three minutes, four minutes, and see how it does. So I did notice, too, at the halfway mark on this four-minute wash that it cycled down to nothing and then started back up again. So I guess that's assuming... You have other things in here and they're allowed to fall back down and then get washed especially if you have a lot of parts sitting in the basket moving around probably makes it a little bit easier to get everything thoroughly washed All right, let's take it off and see what it looks like That does look very clean. I'll bring it in a little bit here and see if you can see it pretty well. It does look like it got washed really well. So I'm gonna let this dry off and then we'll pop it off the plate and check it out. Okay, so I let that dry a little bit and got most of the alcohol off, I think. So that looks pretty good. There's no shiny spots on it. So I'm gonna pop this off the plate and I have a removable build plate on this. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I do have the video for the for my Photon Mono X 6K. You can go check it out. I have a link for the, I don't know if I had to put a link in it, but I have the name of this particular build plate. It's that BIQU. It's pretty nice. You just flex it and pop it off. So convenient. I'm just going to leave those in there, let them soak for a bit, and I'm going to cut this off. All right, so you can see the wash did really well. There's a little bit of shine on the back, which is from all the supports covering it up probably, and a couple more minutes would be fine, but this one was more just a test more than anything else. So maybe if you have a lot of supports right next to a small model like this, you would want to give it a little bit more wash time. Other than that, I think I'm going to throw on the cure real quick and see how it goes. So as I'm sure you guys are aware, this one, the plus, has the angled head so you can move this up and down. So, especially for larger models. So at that point, you get the top, the back, and the bottom because of the mirror surface. It reflects all at the same time. So what I'm going to do 
is just leave this down and put this teeny tiny little guy right in the middle which so well this is an awful lot of machine for this little thing but that's all i had printed because i was doing a test with the thermal bat band which i'll put a link to that video in too if you're printing at extreme cold temperatures like i am you need something to warm the vat up and the resin and it worked really well so go check out that video too so on the back of this cover just like the pmx 6k you have this right here this allows your uv light to know whether you're have the cover on or not there's a little switch on the back of the machine so if you lift this off it's pretty interesting if you have the cure cycle on and you lift up just enough to remove this from the sensor it'll turn the lights off you put it back down and the cure cycle will resume so pretty interesting Okay, so I'm gonna set the cure time and let's set for, you know, let's try five minutes. That's kind of an average. And we'll hit the button and start the cure. And you can see the lights come on. Now what I'll show you is what that safety feature, if you lift off, it'll stop. As soon as you drop back down, it starts again. So we'll run this for five minutes. I'll be back and see what it looks like. Okay, so what I did is I did the first four minutes and then I added, I pulled it out, looked at it. It was still just a touch tacky. So I decided just to do another six minutes, which ended up being a little much because it is, did get a little bit of a brown tint to it. So it is definitely well baked, that's for sure. The details are crisp, it's clean. This would have been so hard to do a small mini like this for me anyway. I'm using toothbrushes and swishing it in alcohol before this in a little container. It'd be tough not to break something on this or to scrub a little too hard with a toothbrush and remove material that you don't want to that's uncured. So this looks really good. I mean, that's definitely worth it. I know this is way bigger machine. You could get away with a smaller machine than this if you were doing smaller minis. And I, I will be doing larger things. This just happened to be kind of a test, like I said earlier. I wanted to test the thermal vat band on warming up the resin to print, so I didn't want to print a big thing and have a huge waste, but this turned out spectacular. It's clean. Other than a little bit that was on the backside with having all the supports on it, probably could have cleaned it, you know, swish it for another few minutes. I mean, I only did, well, I think, two minutes, so five minutes probably would have been sufficient to really clean this well, but with some paint, you'll never notice. Looks really good, so I have to say, a really nice machine and completely overkill for this little guy but it works really well and it does exactly what it's supposed to do so see you guys next time and check out my other videos all right thanks